I think it's about time I pulled something off of this bowl wall. <clears throat> Let's see what we got here. These are a couple of pieces of hickory that I turned back in October of last year. So they've been drying on the bowl wall for almost a year. A little less than an inch thick, so I'm going to gamble that these are dry enough to turn. In fact, I don't really have to gamble. <laughs> they should be dry enough to turn now. This one has a few checks in it here, and this one has a big check in it right here, and the pith is here as well. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this down, take this piece of walnut, the scrap of walnut, and glue it in there make sort of a goblet kind of shape. As long as I align the grain when I glue these together, it should be fine. Well, I had a few cracks here I needed to fill with some CA glue just to stabilize them. In the meantime, while it's drying, I'll put this on. Okay, these are ready to glue up, I think. Although, one thing I neglected to consider is how I'm gonna align them so that they're centered, because I wanna put this back on the lathe. I'll just have to eyeball it, I guess. So obviously not exact, and I didn't think it would be either. So I'm just gonna turn this down into an arrower shape here, sort of give it an hourglass shape. Well, I think this turned out kind of cool. Sort of has a mid-century modern look to it. Kind of like this. I just put some oil-based finish on it, so I have to put a couple more coats on. Not really useful for actually drinking out of. I think it's a cool decorative piece. I think this wood is hickory, I'm not sure. I got it free off of Craigslist and turned these bowls from logs, basically. When I picked it up, I was told it was hickory. It has a nice grain in it, a nice color, I think. It complements the walnut pretty well. So yeah, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you made it this far, I'm gonna go chill out in air-conditioned comfort. Make sure you like and subscribe to keep up to date with more projects from Candy's Garage.